I'm kind of afraid to record this video. My name is Doak and a while ago I painted a mural in USA style and in that video I said I definitely have to make a Russian version of this <laughs> Few months passed and the current situation seems like a perfect yet very inappropriate time to paint a Russian mural Russia has allocated a lot of troops around the Ukrainian border and we see the word war in media every single day as Slovak, I am a little bit more concerned about the situation with Russia because when you take a look at the map this is Russia, this is Ukraine and this, yeah you guessed it, is Slovakia so these unfortunate events are happening relatively close to us you know, we as a nation have some experience with Russia very long story, very short they saved us from Nazis but then some years later they arrived in tanks and they left 20 years later oh yeah and we also beat Russia in the final of the World Hockey Championship in 2002 still proud of that one also, I hope that you remember that my very first car was Russian. Rest in peace, Lada. Anyways, let's prepare a mural in Russian style. Da? I will start the preparation as always with Google Pictures. So let's search for Russia. Okay, I immediately noticed two things. Putin, that's obvious, we cannot make a Russian mural without Putin. And we also can't ignore this uh, church I see it one two three four five six right now let's try T Pecan Russia we see a bear with the typical Russian headwear and vodka Putin for sure with a cup of tea then we also see the typical Soviet housing aka panelaki a lot of those actually I live in a building like this there is a lot of bears <laughs> Meanwhile in Russia <laughs> This this is actually not from Russia based on the license plate. It's from Slovakia <laughs> Hello, I'm bear and welcome to Russia <laughs> <laughs> This has nothing to do with Russia, but <laughs> AK-47 if you didn't notice Hell yeah bears Bears everywhere. We can't forget this legendary video. I'm thinking about some other Russian stereotypes. For example, a Russian woman. They are pretty famous in the world for being always, uh, always beautiful. Also when they are taking out the trash. I guess we can't forget the past, right? And also the very vibrant Russian culture. Very nice. All right, this is gonna be tough. Give me about two, three, maybe four days and I'll see you at the wall. Comrades, welcome to the spot. <laughs> yeah, I picked this one. I picked this wall because it's surrounded by beautiful Soviet architecture. And it is also very close to the headquarters of Smer SD, which is a Slovak political party that truly loves uh, socialism. Anyways, let's begin with the painting. The preparation of this mural was tough. It actually took me four days. As you can see, it's already almost dark outside, which is great because I'm about to use a projector. Alrighty, let's do this. One wonderful lady just notified me that she doesn't want to see any darkness here. She want to see vibrant, beautiful colors. Everybody's 
It's cold. Let's paint. Fun fact for you. My grandfather, my father, and also my brother, all of them have name Vladimir. Just like this guy. Come on, baby, shine. I'm a Gumi Matsi. What is the most annoying stereotype for Russian people? And I guess I'm just painting it. That guy just gave me a thumb up and then he said that he was in a prison for free tax. Um, nice, I guess. have a problem. It's this uh, purploish background color. It's too purple. stopped by and she was pretty terrified by my painting she asked me if it is a joke and i said yes and she was like oof <laughs> Picture never lies. Mm. Nobody. 
nejaký on taký nejaký nepísaný zákon, že, že druhý strieľ je to strieľka tomu prvému to jeho dielo, alebo ako to je? V nelegálnych scénách hej, ale tu tak nemáme na výber, musíme ísť cez seba. No iba Rusko. Už Ukrajina už nebude. Snáď zostaneme pri srande. No to je taká satyra na, na to, čo sa deje. Dobre, je to dobré. <laughs> Ďakujem. Bude, bude. Eh, okay. Let's paint. Uf. <laughs> Every time sometime compliments the painting. I am confused if he actually likes the painting or he likes the theme of the painting. This pipe right here, I involved it because a big part of Europe is dependent on the Russian gas. <laughs> Talking to people is always nice. It's a little bit slowing me down, but it's always nice. Getting exhausted. Getting towards the end of this mural, I have to say that this was a really complicated project and I really underestimated the time that I will need for it. You know, I told myself that it's sort of cartoonish, doodlish style. It's gonna be fast, but hell no. This project was a lot of things, but definitely not fast. Guys, I really hope that the situation on the Ukrainian border won't escalate. And I hope that you will notice all the little details that I involved in this painting. Basically everything what you're gonna see has a meaning, has a connection to Russia in some way. Thumb up would be awesome. As always, don't forget to check out my shop at dokeco.com and this. I'm sorry, but something just happened. Right after I finished the final shot of the mural, I was approached by a man, an angry man. And the first thing he said was, what the fuck is this bullshit, man? What the fuck is this? And it looked like he's gonna punch me. 
I tried to explain the concept of the painting, but then he said, why the fuck should I be looking at Putin? Then I explained a little bit more. He inspected the painting a little bit better and then we started to talk. And apparently we share the same feelings about the situation with Russia and we, we can understand people who support Russia in this matter. The talk with this man made me think that maybe I've been a little bit too soft in this video. But you know, I've been mainly trying to think about Russians, not Russians politics. Anyways, this encounter ended with a friendly handshake. So yeah, this is it. As, 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 as I'm getting to the S, S, 